Okay, big surprise. I just walked up to Tom Whitman's table. And by the way, that's Whitman and I'm Whiteman. This is Tom Whitman and Craig Gottlieb happened to be here. What are the chances that the two people, these two guys who can't stand, oh no, that's not true. These two guys who've never done a video together, but they each have their own YouTube channel. No, but channel. we're together all the time. Yeah, okay. And there's new video that we've done together that would be appropriate for your for your YouTube channel. Yeah, wow, perfect, that's, perfect. That's, that's true, yeah. yeah. Uh, and actually, while we're doing this, people are standing around taking pictures, because this is a moment in time. Yeah. Um, well, it's a moment uh, in time, all right. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of background about Tom Whitman. I didn't know about Tom Whitman's daggers, because I always sold guns. I'm at a show probably eight years ago. I come in, I check into my hotel room. I think it was the Hilton. Tom yeah, Whitman. Yeah, I get the, my the hotel Hilton room. Garden Inn. Was exactly Hilton Garden Garden. I Which go is in. where I'm staying tonight. I go oh, in. No. Yeah. Same place. I get a jacuzzi. There's a woman in the room. There's cigars laid out. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great. You Best didn't hotel. know that you reserved all this, did I didn't. You? And then later in the day, uh, he's complaining about his room. I got his room, he got my room. True story. I, uh, I had this room with a cot in it and a single bed. <laughs> and I thought, I thought I reserved something better than that. Well, you're uh, Mr. Whiteman, aren't you? I said, no, I'm Mr. Whitman. <laughs> oh, well, he's Mr. Whiteman. No, he's right. It, and every year it happens. The next yeah. year we come here and yeah. I get his room. Yeah. Is, it, is this one of those things you can roll over in bed, you have to go outside to the hallway? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah so, that, so, that's so, the that, that, That's exactly yeah. what it was. But, but we're here at SOS. Um, I'm gonna, and when we're done, we'll go through all the daggers here. Um, and we also wanna check out what some of the stuff you have. You sure. always have quality stuff. Um, you have a uh, YouTube channel. I mean, come on, it's for television. Oh, we, have, yeah. we have great things. Right. You, we have to lie a little bit. Great things for great You people. have a YouTube channel with a lot of followers. What's the YouTube channel? It's under Whitman Military. Whitman Military. Right. You have a YouTube channel. I have a Whitman. I do not have a YouTube channel. I, but I have. I've uh, seen your videos. Yeah, they're on YouTube. Okay. I, YouTube I, is my channel. Okay. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, so let's. Uh, first of all, before we go through all this, yeah, famous people here. Um, I brought this diagram over. And maybe you can tell me a little bit about this, and then. I'd like to put it. It's black. Yes. Oh, that's a good start. Thank you. Thank Hold you. the microphone. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. They love each other. This is all okay. I do. Now, what we're looking at here, collectors, this is, as you can see, a very fine early SS dagger. Beautiful anodized scabbard, nickel fittings. Has a vertical hanger on it that looks original to the piece. Beautiful ebony grip, nickel fittings. And so, okay, you're all saying, ah, oh, it's a nice SS dagger. Well, let me show you what else is really cool about it. Oh, it's got a decent blade, not mint, but it's not bad. The reverse of it has a partial Rome inscription. The signature has been ground off, and it was made by the Herder Company. But the real issue here is the fact that it has a serial number that's stamped on it. Look at that. It's, got, it's, it's crossing over the it's, serial it number into the wood. It crosses right over into the wood. I mean, when you see stuff like this, you know that they said that just some some guy in the, in the back there guarding the men's room, look, you're in charge of doing the numbering now. Whack, whack, okay, whack. what do you want here? <laughs> and there's no way a number that looks like that is faked because it's right. just so awful. Right. That's what I love about it. So what did we find out about this then, well, Tom? Here's some documentation. So Let's you can just, lay that uh, down. Lay that on. down and, and this is what you want, collectors. If you can find an SS that's numbered, and then be able to put together a dossier like this. The man's name was Anton Frank. He was an SS over Stormfuhrer. What's that, like a second lieutenant, first Storm, lieutenant? No, 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 first it's lieutenant, it's a, it's a, yeah. Yeah. Not, not a yeah, high yeah. rank. And with his SS number here, 16,831, which jives with this crazy wow. stamping here. And as you can see, Tom has uh, put together an, an entire dossier here. It was done by Ross Kilbau. You collectors will know him. He is the man in is research. It, is it anymore. Kilbau or Kalbach? Uh, you pronounced it right, but I'm okay. not German. That's and fine. Neither are you. <laughs> <laughs> Whitman and Gottlieb, that's sort of a German name. I it think is. so. It is, right? yeah. yeah. But you can see there's there's pages and pages. This guy's application to the SS, his uh, the thing you had a file that you're Aryan for 150 years and all the everything he's done here, copies of it. Uh, a record like this, you might pay about two hundred and fifty dollars for, possibly. Get that, yeah. uh, but it uh, not literally for the uh, no, no, not for the dagger. <laughs> but a record like this literally can add about twenty-five, three thousand dollars to a dagger. And 
the dagger's no longer just a hunk of metal and right. wood. It becomes you know alive, it yeah. you know, and it, it's, it's really, alive. It's alive. <laughs> so this is a very, very good thing. No. You, you did good here. Well, um, thank you very much. It's actually, you did, he did well. He didn't do good. Yeah, he did okay. well. He did well. I'm here to com uh, make sure yeah. that Tom's grammar is on uh, the top of the game. So. No, you, you did well, but you're still not getting my room. Uh, oh, good, good, good. Well, um, I enjoy your room a lot better. Um, and uh, if you have any, uh, I'm going to go through and show what you have here. Do you have any other things? No, no, I think this is ex this is exciting to be in the presence of genius. I mean, Tom wrote uh, one, two, three, four, but I've only written three books. He's written four. His books are much thicker, much more color photographs. And so, you know, that's... I will say... You are the writer good. of the book. They're pretty good, and uh, I will say so myself. My SS book has become kind of the Bible of the you, industry. And, uh, you don't have to say it It's yourself. very gratifying, very yeah, well, gratifying. Well, it's yeah. an honor to meet you guys here yeah. all together. Who would have guessed? Uh, thanks so much. And if you come to SOS next year, this is the kind of stuff you're going to see. And this is the kind of stuff you'll see, too, this guy here. <laughs> guy, I'm I everywhere. Like, no, we're good. We're, you know, we're, Tom we're, Whitman we're, once told me... Oh, that did it. Yeah. No, it's so funny. I mean, Tom said something very, very... We have to put up with this. In the old days, in the Mac show, there's a customer in the hall. Make the aisles wider. Tom said, I'm the man that he loves to hate and hates to love. There you go. And I think I, I say that all the time. It's true. And I'll say another thing, too, that um, if I were ever going to have the best employee in the world, I would hire Gottlieb but I would make him change his name and get a facial full job. And you'd so also put a, recognize did you ever? Because he's the biggest hustler, yes, best he, worker. he works hard. Uh, in spite of what you think, he is intelligent. Uh, he's really, really a great guy. And did you ever see uh, Pulp Fiction? The other yes. thing he would get would be one of those big red balls and put it into my mouth. So I'd be in his basement with a big red ball in my mouth packing daggers. So I, I would like to have Gottlieb packing daggers. Yeah. At, at least a good job would be done, I'm sure. Well, nice to see you all here. I'm Tom Whitman, and uh, we thought we would show you some of the things that we're offering at the show. Uh, we try to carry a multitude of items, although we're uh, mostly a dagger. Uh, that's my expertise anyhow. But we carry a lot of flags, armbands, porcelain, medals, uh, uniforms, helmets, you name it. And we try to bring as much as we can, although it's mostly daggers, but you can see so these are some of the porcelains, and this is a beautiful um, guard du cour. These were the, 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 the people that guarded the Kaiser. So this guy may have bought this to um, remember his uh, time in the service, and it's a beautiful little desk piece. Um, a porcelain of a motorcycle, guy on a motorcycle. Uh, this is what they call a Yule Lichter. It was a special candle that Himmler, the boss of the SS, uh, gave out to enlisted men at Christmas time. Uh, you, you don't see too many of them because they're so fragile. They're made out of clay at the Alec Porcelain Factory. And then we have a uh, couple uniforms. We, uh, because of the restrictions, we, uh, we have to kind of cover things up, but uh, you know what that is, so there you go. Uh, this is a, um, an early political leader uniform uh, made prior to uh, about 1938 when they changed all the insignia. Uh, but it's in gorgeous condition, no mothing, has the britches with it. And then below it are some nice daggers. Uh, I try to uh, get the best condition possible and I've always believed in the hobby that even though it may be a little more expensive for something that's in near mint to mint condition, when it comes time to sell, that's the kind of piece you want to have. These are Luftwaffe's, chain NSKK, postal daggers, SS officer dagger, Hitler youth leader dagger. I have some swords here, a Damascus blade in the Luftwaffe, very, very rare. And uh, this etched blade is just fantastic with a blue panel behind the uh, German eagle. Hitler youth plate, other etched uh, swords. This is a road sign, and if you have a good guess on your mind, what do you think a wrench means? Aha! If something's wrong with my car, that's where I stop, and you can see it's the NSKK. It's a great street sign. And some other stuff. Uh, 
you probably can't live without having El Duce in your living room, and it's a nice big solid bronze. And we have to have the fewer here and there. Here's Goering with a small head. He probably wouldn't appreciate that because he did have a big head, but uh, the way we're showing him here. And various medals and badges. And I, I, uh, I, like, um, I like the signs that were put up during the Third Reich period. And this was a pair of signs that were made for a Panzer regiment. Probably one went outside the uh, office and the other was probably next to the door on the office. But very rare, that kind of stuff, and it's neat. More daggers. And another sign, Adolf Hitler Strasse. Every town in Germany was named after guess who for a street. So we see a lot of those. I like them more when the GIs shot them up and all, but it, uh, this is a pretty clean one. <clears throat> Lots of nice daggers. These kind of plates are very nice. Uh, this is um, uh, special silverware that uh, belonged to Adolf Hitler. Uh, these kind of pieces are very hard to find because they were serving pieces and there were not as many of those made as there would be knives and forks. So prices can get really, uh, really crazy sometimes. Like these, these grape snips um, sell for $8,500 and that's no joke. Uh, it's because there was only one, one pair made for, for a set of um, silver. So, But there's always a lot of interest in that, and AH silver is a very good investment. More daggers, and uh, here's a, a Himmler autograph photo and a, a Hitler autograph photo. Uh, it's kind of interesting, and the, uh, Hitler put a little dedication on this, this photo. Um, and he said, the people are everything, I am nothing. That was a statement that he made there in German. And more stuff. And I guess I could go on for hours with all this stuff, but uh, I don't want to do that. But you can get the general idea of what we're selling. And uh, we guarantee everything as authentic in writing, if you want it. We've been in business since 1981. The hobby is my life. I have my own personal collection that I love dearly. My wife is all, when are you going to sell all that Nazi stuff? And I, oh, then she, I just, it's just really, uh, you guys know if you have wives, if you're in guns, you know, it's the same thing. Uh, it, uh, but what are you going to do? Or she'll say, when are you going to retire? And retire to what, is what I say, because I love this. I'll do it until the day I die. And people say, oh, are you ever going to sell your collection? Hell no. You sell it after I'm in the box. That's the way I want it. Hey, that's only about a third of what we filmed. So if you would like to see more, keep watching. We're going to be putting out three or four more really quickly and also a postscript of what we brought back and uh, show you everything we bought. All of these videos from the show of shows will be in one playlist so you can go and watch them all. Uh, but make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when we post more videos.